Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to your essay writing skills class and your lecture number 11. Today in our, our lecture we are going to talk about the narrative essay in detail. In the previous lecture we have thoroughly talked about the critical essay. Remember critical essay has something to do with analyzing uh, the strengths and weaknesses of any piece of art, any piece of literature or any work of music. Now there's, there were some steps that you were supposed to take while writing one critical essay that one we have discussed in the previous lecture in detail then then uh, we have also talked about some critical styles the style of uh, claim and evidence a claim is to be you know any claim that you make or any argument that you make should be supported by uh, properly uh, referred references then uh, the second style was your effective style that calls for the fresh researches and the third style is your exploratory style in which you try to you know explore the information and uh, try to support your argument by exploring different kinds of references and refer uh, information uh, in detail. Then there are some do's and don'ts to uh, be remembered while writing one critical essay. There are some common mistakes that we make while uh, writing one critical essay that you were supposed to avoid and we also uh, have seen one example of uh writing a, a, a critical essay in detail that was uh, the example I guess was about uh, is it ever too late to study and I hope that you have learned through uh, this uh, lecture that how to write one critical essay and you must have tried one writing because your exams are not far you will be given your first sessional exams very soon so uh, pick up your pens and pick up your uh, registers and try to uh, grab as much uh, information information as you can because you can only learn through the lectures. Um, I am here to guide you from every angle and I will make sure that I should not miss any information that you require while writing uh, any kind of essay that you want to write for. So to begin with, uh, let's quickly uh, visit the definition of narrative essay. The narrative essay tells a story. It can also be called a short story. Now narration uh, as I call the word narration, narration has something to do with narrating something. So once you narrate something maybe you are narrating a story. So uh, you are conversating with the other person so uh, your narrative essay is uh, somewhat kind of a storytelling in which you are telling about any incident, any event, any uh, uh, Thanksgiving party, any farewell party, any birthday or so on and so forth. So you are you know in other words kind to, uh, trying to tell uh, uh, the details or the story of whatever happened. Then uh, it uh, the second thing or the second major thing about uh, narrative essay is uh, although it's conversational in style the second thing is it tells about your personal experience only so it has something to talk about your personal experience so once you will tell your story to the others definitely that will become your short story uh, autobiographies uh, can be uh, one kind of you know narrative story so narrative uh, essay uh, carries uh, or it is also known as a short story. The examples uh, I have written on the slide for your understanding are a narrative essay could tell of my brothers and my fishing trips like uh, you and your brother you are fond of fishing and how do you go when do you go and everything that is related and that would be of course uh, your personal experience so you would you know um, clearly demonstrate that and clearly tell that to the others. A boring trip to a grocery store, maybe you had been to the grocery store and you did not like that trip very much so it, that, be, that became very boring for you. At my death near experience at the beach you were about to drown and you were rescued by someone so that was your net, uh, de uh, near death experience of um, uh, at the beach so you are going to you know um, anything uh, or any version uh, that you are telling others, uh, you, any uh, personal experience of yours that you follow the steps of essay writing and then you write it down on a piece of paper to make one essay is known as a narrative essay. 
so we have uh, read about the definition of a narrative essay as well as we have also talked about that uh, the different uh, examples of the narrative essay the narrative essay now let's uh, turn on, on to the next slide and we can see that the narrative essay is told from a particular point of view now you told you tell about either you your and uh, your brother's uh, fishing trips uh, either you talk about your visit to a grocery store so uh, it talks about only one point of view so one point is being discussed in the whole essay it makes and supports a point so um, it makes one point and it supports that point with different uh, kind of examples with different kind of evidences sometimes your personal um, experience of experiencing anything is filled with precise details so every minute and very precise details are there as to make uh, your narrative essay good look it uses vivid verbs and modifiers so verbs are there the uh, action words are there to make your uh, story look lively and real uh, it uses conflict and sequence as does any story so there is a conflict as well as there is a sequence um, uh, the conflict any conflict being introduced in the beginning of your story uh, can be followed by uh, any uh, that also carries a proper sequence the modern trend of writing a story is that the reader uh, starts with the end then they elaborate the details and in the end they introduce the beginning and this is what we are going to do to do today today's example also focuses on the conflict um, uh, category it also may use the dialogue to make your uh, uh, any piece of uh, narrative essay look lively and uh, look uh, real so once you would put the exact quotes of uh, people while talking to each other their dialogues uh, within the inverted commas that would give given uh, uh, a real like impression to the uh, reader so this is how you can make your narrative essay uh, strong moving on to the next slide let's see that how to write a narrative essay a narrative essay more than any other type of essay allows you to be creative as a writer now the plot is yours and the essay is yours uh, you want to write everything or anything about your essay and in this way you can be as creative as you can as appealing as you can and whatever is there in your mind you can write in your essay only the type of essay that has margin of uh, describing uh, your point of view or uh, your personal experience is the narrative essay so uh, do not back out uh, this is very interesting kind of essay the one you would be very happy uh, to write about because uh, uh, everyone can narrate any experience they'd had in their life and they can you know uh, easily narrate it uh, by following the details or by following the or by sticking to the outline that i'm going to tell you in the essay nevertheless there are certain real rules to follow and mistakes to avoid when writing a narrative essay so there are some rules that you are supposed to follow while writing one narrative essay and there are some mistakes to be avoided when uh, you are writing one narrative essay so you should make sure that uh, you are not going to make uh, uh, or you are going to follow the certain rules to make one very good short story now there are some steps for writing a narrative essay uh, step number 1 decide on a plot now what is a plot plot gives you uh, the main idea or the main setting for your uh, any piece of writing that you want to write you should never start writing your narrative essay before you come up with a plot for it now there is one scenario now there is one situation there is one context around which your characters your feelings you yourself and other things will be following or other uh, things will be floating or revolving so you are going to make sure to set number 1 you are supposed to set one plot for your narrative essay this is the one the first thing that you are supposed to do before actually uh, selecting your topic or before actually starting your narrative essay your step number 2 would be that do a sketch of events you plan to uh, depict in a chronological order now if you intend to uh, describe or if you want to narrate your uh, brothers and your fishing trips uh, early in the morning you would have to uh, set the plot for it that is the setting that where do you guys really go and then you are supposed to you know sketch all the events that you want to depict in a chronological order now 
now that has the, chrono the chronological order has something to do with uh, the sequence like numbering it should start from number one till the number end. The things that occurred in the beginning should be described earlier and the things that occurred in the end should be described later. So this is what you could call a chronological order and you are going to you know, go into the sequence and set down all the details, all the events that you want to talk about. Like uh, if uh, you had your breakfast in the morning and then you had your lunch then definitely you, in your writing you will talk about that I had my breakfast in the morning and then uh, I had my lunch afternoon. You won't say that I had my lunch and also I had my breakfast in the morning. So that's the wrong way of saying it. You are going to go in the chronological order as I said. So your step number two would be that after sel uh, selecting or after uh, deciding on a plot you are going to uh, do a sketch of the events that you are going to uh, depict in a chronological order. Now let's see your step number three that you are supposed to do. When starting on your introduction, begin by setting the scene for the situation. Now, as I said that you are supposed to create one plot. Now, in your uh, while, while, you, while you are, you know, Starting your introduction, make sure that you uh, clearly depict uh, by the use of vivid uh, verbs and modifiers. You try to explain and also use the adjectives as well. Uh, try to uh, portray or try to you know uh, begin by setting uh, the scene for the situation you will narrate about. So. You will not directly start with yourself or your near death experience to the beach. First of all, you will explain about the beach uh, uh, where you had or you received your near death experience. Here is it is best to go into the details and make the Im imagery as vivid and colorful as possible so that the reader will be able to clearly picture the setting in their mind. Now your main purpose is to make the reader understand and see that where uh, you were and uh, what kind of a place was that. So you are going to provide every minute detail by providing them the imagery as vivid and colorful as you have seen uh, and uh, you r write each and everything on the piece of paper in a way that peop uh, the reader wants they are going to visualize that they visualize the same thing as you have seen and you have tried to write it on the piece of paper. So your third step would be that you are going to create the scene for the situation and set it forth to your audience and your reader in such a way that they are going to uh, be uh, on the same uh, place where you have been and they are going to you know through words you are going to let uh, take them uh, to that very place where uh, or that very situation which you want to elaborate in your narrative essay. The step number four would be as you go into the main body paragraphs. Now uh, there is no hard and fast rule of that you are supposed to write the main body paragraphs first and then you are supposed to write the introduction and in the end you are supposed to write the conclusion. Narrative essay allows you for uh, it's a kind of the a very unique essay. Uh, the collection of your thoughts are there, your personal experiences are there and uh, also you don't have to worry about that you are supposed to write the main body parts first and then you are supposed to go into the conclusion and then the introduction. First of all you introduce the setting and then you uh, keep on you know uh, writing down your paragraphs of the main body. Your main body paragraphs they narrate the story. In the first paragraph you have set forth the um, plot for or the situation for uh, um, for the reader uh, in which uh, the scenario in which uh, around which all the characters move. Then in the main body you would uh, narrate the story that what has happened. Try to develop the plot gradually starting from smaller events or incidents that lead to the main scene. So starting up with the minute details that before uh, the event what has happened and who was involved and what was involved and so on and so forth. This is how you are going to go into the details of uh, uh, the main scene and only in this way you can talk about or you can narrate one story. 
another your point number five or step number five for writing a narrative essay is that write the main body paragraphs in accordance with the structure you chose uh, when making an outline now uh, for every essay as we make an outline and use our pre-writing technique we are going to you are going to make sure that you are going to write the main body paragraphs in accordance with the structure that you have chosen when making a uh, an outline now that you have created some uh, headings or the full sentences or you have outlined the information uh, in a chronological order you would follow that clearly and you are going to you know narrate in the same way on your actual draft your step number six would be that you are going to narrate the main scene of your story then uh, once you are in a progression of defining things and then taking the reader to uh, to the actual main scene use as many details and emotional descriptions as you can to portray the story in full now uh, what you would do is that you would uh, take the reader ac in the actual situation and you would portray a story in such a way that reader feels it reader feel that as if he is also there draw the reader into the events by evoking feelings and describing reactions of the characters of your story now that we have also discussed that your narrative essay also carries a lot of characters and you can also insert the dialogues in it um, this is how you can make your story interesting and you can make your story look different from the other so this is the only way in through which you can evoke the emotions of your reader and involve uh, his sentiment uh towards the actual scene as if he is into it and he is talking to the different characters and he is feeling what they are saying or talking about so this is the best way that you create the main scene and then evoke the um uh, feelings um uh, of the reader or of the target audience your step number 7 would be that you end your story now that you are done with your beginning your introduction in which you have introduced the plot or set the plot for the reader in your step number 2 you have uh, selected uh, the uh, different uh, you uh, you are you know trying to uh, start with the minute details before actually jumping on to the main scene then you write down um, your main body paragraphs in the outline uh, following the outline that you have written during your pre writing and then you write them on the uh, your draft try to insert a lot of dialogues and a lot of details in the end you end your story by writing your conclusion here you can appeal to the senses moods and feelings of your character describing the consequences of the narrative narrated events now whatsoever events uh, you have narrated in a chronological order you are going to end your story by uh, telling the consequences of uh, all the narrated e events to the reader and sharing your uh, personal or the utmost uh, uh, desires with the reader the step number 8 would be that lay your work aside for some time and then do the proofreading now uh, that we have discussed the a ground rule of or the uh, th this thumb rule of uh, doing the proofreading thing i have mentioned so many times in my previous lectures that you are supposed to um, uh, leave your uh, writing aside for some time and then come back to it and read it and try to see that how uh, have you written how well you have written if there are any loopholes or any information that is missing you can add that information in it later because your mind works better once you give time to something and once you um the best way of you know uh, rereading is to you know leave your reading for some time and then again reread it uh, as a third party so that you can be give your best response to whatever you have written you will of course find a lot of the loopholes a lot of the uh, um, uh, uncensored things which uh, were supposed to be censored and uh, you uh, have come across them and you are going to you know receive them uh, while you are proofreading your material Now selecting a topic for your narrative essay is uh, not a very uh, hard thing to do uh, narrating any kind of a story is not a very big Uh, issue there are endless topics variations you can choose from your stuff uh, from 
for you, your story so you, there are so many things that you can write on with narrative being a very creative type of writing you have a unique opportunity to choose the ideal topic to narrate about now anything uh, best that you want to any best narration that you can make is of your life maybe any life event that uh, that moved you any special event that changed your life and so on and so forth any event that is to be remembered so uh, selecting one topic for a narrative essay is not a big deal you can do it very easily and you can do it very quickly it should be something that you yourself find interesting otherwise it will be hard to make it interesting for the readers now uh, anything that you choose for um, your narrative essay should be interesting enough for you also because if you are your self uh, in uh interested in the details of uh, so and so event only in that very uh, situation you would be able to uh, uh, make your um, audience or make your reader interested in your uh, writing whatsoever you want to tell them so uh, uh, it should be about something or it should be something that you yourself find interesting otherwise it will be hard to make it interesting for your reader now uh, topic selection uh, the uh, things to remember uh, are for the topic selection that your story can be true or fiction now uh, it can be based on your life events or your life like events of uh, any uh, personal experiences of something or it can be a fiction where you can put a lot of imagination and you can talk about any imaginary things or the superfluous ideas it can be narrated in the first or third person so first person and third person uh, singulars or plurals can also be used your narrative essay can be based on your own experience be completely imaginary or describe the experience of somebody you know so uh, they can be personally your own or they can also depict the uh, experiences of other people in your essay as well it can be realistic or completely uh, made up so it can be true or it can be fiction in other words that it can be uh, realistic based on reality the life like events or the real life events which you have experienced yourself or maybe the other people have experienced also uh, or it can be completely made up or it can be you know totally creative or totally imaginary only basic requirement for a good narrative essay topic is that it should sound interesting to appeal to the reader now it should be interesting enough that the people get involved in it the reader gets involved in it and reader is so touched and moved by every minute detail um, the the vivid um, uh, verbs adjectives modifiers the colors uh, through which you are painting your picture that is that is going to you know make your uh, essay uh, look interesting and then people of course they are going to feel it interesting as compared to the other essays so uh, starting from the very first word so in other words it means that you are going to from the very beginning from the introduction your essay should be appealing enough to appeal to the uh, senses and emotions of your reader so your target is to attract or grab or uh, uh, you know uh, uh, senti uh, involve your reader uh, involve the sentiments of your reader into the essay so this is how you can make your essay look different and uh, the word selection is going to be also different in your essay Now there is a list of topics as you can see on the slide below are several examples of good topics of a narrative essay however keep in mind that the ideas to choose a good topic from uh, are limitless so you can either talk about reality you can either talk about fiction you can uh, uh, talk about realistic things or the true things or you can also your essay can be completely made up or um, yeah, so on and so forth you can also talk about your personal experiences as well as you can also narrate the experience of uh, experiences of the other people so in other words narrative essay has got the margin of explain, explaining so many things in so many ways However keep in mind that the ideas to choose a topic or a good topic from uh, are limitless now there are so many other topics and there could be so many other topics other than these topics that i have written on my slide and you can pick up one to write on and you know you can produce one good narrative essay now remember uh, till now we have uh, thoroughly discussed that what is a narrative essay that's also known as a story storytelling in which you narrate some event or uh, that's usually 
con uh, conversational in style and it also uh, t uh, tells about your personal experience maybe your personal experience or the experience of someone else which you are trying to narrate uh, the methodology of uh, narrating essay is known as narratology so uh, we are going to uh, make sure that whatever you are narrating is going to describe the in-depth details of uh, any event that you want to target on and it's going to you know elaborate all the minute details to the reader so that the reader gets involved in it and reader feels it so the list of the topics are uh, uh, says that uh, you can uh, write one narrative essay on a mysterious book uh, maybe you uh, narrate that book uh, and how did you come across that book and how did you find that book and uh, why did you start reading that book and so on and so forth one sleepless night uh, you are going to narrate the whole night even that why uh, step by step in a chronological order that why you could not sleep and uh, what were the reasons and why it became your sleepless night our trip to mountains now how the trip started and uh, what made you join that trip and when you went there what happened and how was the mountains and every minute detail that can be added in your narrative essay an unexpected occasion uh, an occasion maybe you uh, your friends gave you a surprised birthday party and that became your unexpected occasion visiting the castle of dracula and now that would be based on imagination because dracula is nowhere a summer to remember um, any summer time that you have enjoyed most in your life uh, 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 you can write about it the most exciting movement of my life uh, now you are going to write about that too lost in the forest uh, now uh, you are going to narrate your story that how you uh, had been into the forest and how you got lost and what were the consequences of that a trip to never forget you had a trip to some place and you can never forget that and you are going to talk about that one lazy summer afternoon uh, so uh, anything special about that afternoon or anything special that made uh, that very afternoon different from uh, other afternoons uh, this is how uh, it should be an unexpected visitor any uh, you can create any situation or you already have experienced any situation in which you uh, receive an unexpected visitor at your home uh, or maybe in your office so you are going to narrate that a letter from the future a very interesting one a letter from the future cannot come to you but that's be going to be some kind of you know fiction or some kind of a totally made up essay in which you are going to narrate that how you have received one letter from the future so there are some examples and there could be so many more in which you uh, can write about the narrative essay uh, narrating the short story of uh, how something happened and uh, taking your reader into it by telling them that they are actually there and uh, the choice of words and the descriptions should be strong enough that the f reader feels them and reader feels that he is actually sitting at this that place talking to different characters uh, listening to their dialogues and maybe reader wants to comment on them but reader cannot because the reader is not the part of the situation but you have written it so um interestingly that the reader uh, is moved by your expression of writing so this is one art of writing a narrative essay topic selection isn't very hard you can select a very uh, good topic for your narrative essay very easily and i hope you are going to do that on your own very easily now there are some key points to be considered while writing a uh, 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 narrative essay genre of your writing now the first thing that you are supposed to remember is the genre start your essay by deciding upon the genre of your writing only after you make up your mind about how realistic your story should be depending on whether you want for instance to write a fantastic science fiction essay or a realistic life chron chronicle you can move on to develop the actual plot so before uh, actually writing uh, your essay you are supposed to make sure that you decide genre for your writing deciding up that either you are going to uh, pick up 
uh, your life uh, experience or you are going to uh, uh, make up any story that uh, depends on uh, fantastic science uh, fiction essay or that's a realistic uh, life chronicle maybe uh, if we talk about a visit to dracula's house would be different from uh, a visit to my uh, cousin's place so both of them they are different and they are going to be you know uh, be written in very different ways the next key point to remember is that if you find it hard to start your essay or cannot seem to come up with a story uh, you will convey try to approach the process of writing with question and answer method so if you cannot decide on how to start your essay and how to begin your essay the technique that you can use is of question and answer method how to do that let's see the example uh, uh, before looking into the example let's see that what has written uh, above that start asking yourself basic questions about the future story now whatsoever you have uh, uh, selected to write on uh, start asking yourself questions about that very particular topic that will help you uh, create one plot for your story slowly move on uh, to the more detailed specific questions as you develop the plot so once you have developed the plot uh, by asking questions that uh, uh, where did the event happened who was involved in the situation was you have set up the plot slowly and gradually move on to the uh, details that you are supposed to add in the main body paragraphs that what were the consequences of this event and what were the reactions of people involved so if you uh, try to narrate uh, the earthquake of 8th october in your essay you would start with that uh, where did it happen uh, who was involved in the situation so where did it happen it happened in islamabad and you are going to particularly target to those areas where there was a lot of devastation who was involved in the situation um, uh, then you are going to critically see that how you are going to elaborate that uh, people uh, who suffered then what were the consequences of the event the buildings fell down there was a lot of destruction and uh, what were the reactions of the people involved uh, the people were dying and the rescue operation was on and so on and so forth and this is how you are going to take that story along so you are going to narrate one event with the by providing um, the plot for it and if you are unable to do that try to write a question and uh, try to use a question and answer method which will help you decide on how to uh, actually um, and do that the next key point to remember is uh, that with the narrative essay being rather informal type of essay writing one thing you should keep in mind is that even though you are telling a story to your readers you are not exactly doing it the way you would say to the person now your conversational style is somewhat different from your writing style the way you converse with people that is you know kind of a communication cycle the receiver he sends the message and the sender he receives the message uh, the sender he sends the message to the receiver and receiver he replies back to the sender by uh, providing the uh, feedback so this one to one or two ways or two sided communication is kind of different than uh, how do you write on the piece of paper now uh, once you are writing something the writing is go going to go into the hands of different people maybe your set audience for whom you are writing your paper for uh, you uh, are going to make sure that you are going to solve every possible question that they have in their mind as to make sure that um, those questions should be already addressed that can come or that can occur in the mind of your reader when a narrative essay is too conversational it can hardly be considered a successful one if there is a lot of narration going on in the essay if uh, you keep on you know uh, answering the questions from time to time uh, by asking it from the reader that will become very very conversational and that will not be considered a very successful one because without asking any questions uh, by writing them on the paper maybe you can draw your graph or maybe you can draw your questions 
make your questions on your rough sheet that is your uh, pre-writing sheet uh, you can draw your questions there and you try to you know answer each one of them in your actual draft you need to find a balance between telling a story in an interesting informal manner while keeping your writing stylistically beautiful so you are going to find out the balance between telling a story keeping in mind that's a narrative essay that is not a conversation or a dialogue to be uttered you are going to make sure that that uh, you are, there should be a balance uh, between telling a story in an interesting informal manner. Now, narrative essay is not a formal kind of a conversation or not a formal kind of a essay where there is any hard and fast rule of uh, not uh, using uh, any um, abbreviations or any contractions but uh, in other way it is a kind of a formal essay because it is following a process and it is al uh, also conveying some message or also conveying some story so this is uh, somewhat different from uh, the dialogue in which people talk to each other freely uh, this is uh, different from how we communicate with each other every day it is also different from how we uh, ask questions uh, uh, from time to time so you are going to you know satisfy to each and every query of your reader to make it a good essay to experiment with your writing style and make uh, your narrative essay more unique you can use a literary technique called flashback narration now uh, there is one uh, technique of writing your uh, narrative essay is a flashback technique but this is being done by the those writers who are or who have command of uh, narrating their stories in a very uh, good way edgar allan poe a very famous famous name in uh, story writing has use this technique in so many of his uh, uh, stories uh, you can start your uh, this flashback uh, narration usually focuses on uh, uh, from the particular point uh, in time usually something extraordinary and exciting for example just to give you an example the modern writers they use this approach in their uh, novels and dramas uh, uh, you would have seen that in the uh, movies where they uh, display in front of you that this accident happened or that murder was happened now throughout the essay or throughout the movie or throughout the drama they would keep discussing that uh, uh, who can be involved or who was involved or who uh, what are the possibilities that who has done this and in the last paragraph they reveal that uh, what was the reason behind that murder and who was involved that behind murder so uh, this is how this flashback narration helps the reader or makes the reader interested in uh, what is going to happen next the next key point to consider is to uh, try to express yourself more uh, creatively and figuratively like instead of just saying a very old man slowly entered the room you are supposed to write a gray haired man with a thick beard opened the door his hand slightly trembling from age and heavily stepped inside now see the difference between two of these um, uh, narrations uh, how the writer is being very creative in the second one by instead of saying a very old man slowly entered the room now this is a very common way of saying things instead of saying that the writer has replaced the common words with uh, very good uh, adjectives and very good uh, verbs that he has used to uh, make that old man enter in the room a gray haired man with a thick beard opened the door his hands slightly trembling from age and heavily stepped inside so you can make your uh, writing creative and by using the figurative speech or the flowery language that you can use in your narrative essay with a narrative essay giving you certain freedom to experiment with words now you can play with words you can experiment with different words joining different kind of adjectives with different uh, words um, uh, you know attributing the qualities of animals to the human beings and so on and so forth so experiment with different words you can use interesting and unusual combinations um, uh, to make your writing uh, be more creative a good example would be using action words with uh, inanimate objects 
or ascribing animals, plants, or na uh, natural phenomena certain uh, human qualities. So you can either attribute the uh, qualities of uh, an animal to the uh, human being, or maybe human being with the animal, and vice versa. Now that we are done with some keys, uh, key points to be remembered while you are writing uh, your narrative essay, there are some do's that you are supposed to do and then again there are some don'ts that you are not supposed to do while writing your essay. Every uh, essay has got the same format and in every essay we are being discussing the same uh, sequence uh, that we discuss uh, the key points that how to write one, topic selection, do's and don'ts, common mistakes and then uh, we discuss one example of uh, how uh, one uh, best example of uh, how you can write one um, type of essay. So again there are some do's of uh, the narrative essay. The first thing it, that you are supposed to do is to use dialogues to make your writing more vivid and lifelike. Um, now uh, you can use these dialogues within the inverted commas for example uh, as I said that your narrative essay is kind of uh, narration or that's kind of uh, conversational so if you say that the two people in my uh, essay or um, if uh, your characters are talking to each other in your essay you can you know uh, put the proper dialogues of them if they are important. Do use author's lines in between. The rep, uh, replica, uh, this replicates your character to add action and help create a fuller picture of your character's personalities, reactions, and behaviors. So to uh, to bring your reader into the situation and see that how was the reaction of so and so person after listening to so and so speech, and uh, how people, uh, how characters are talking to each other, and how they are behaving towards each other is. Uh, going to help you understand uh, or uh, bring uh, the clear picture of your essay uh, in front of your uh, reader. Another thing that you are supposed to do uh, while writing a narrative essay is that do give information in chronological order. Use time words. Now what is these time words? These time words are first like for example first, before, then, after that, later, during, while and etc. So these kind of words which are uh, time words which can make your uh, writing uh, go in the uh, chronological way. That first First of all, uh, then it happened and after that and during that time while I was there and these kind of things and these kind of uh, the words, the time words which you can use to make your narrative essay look better. It is also a very good uh, way of uh, um, linking your thoughts to one another. Instead of using the conjunctions, you can use these kind of time words to uh, connect your ideas or your paragraphs or your uh, sentences. Do use senses and emotions to set the scene of your story. Now these senses and emotions being involved in your essay are going to help you uh, create the scene for your story. Do you enhance your writing with colorful stylistic literary techniques? Now what are these stylistic literary techniques? As much as you can use, you can. Uh, epithets, metaphors, distinguished comparison, bright allegories and the like. So you can use a lot of symbols, metaphors, allegories, uh, personifications and other uh, literary techniques that you feel uh, can make your uh, narr narration uh, look better and uh, 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 you know differentiate it from uh, other uh, pieces of uh, writing you can insert them because this is all your property narrative essay has something to do with your personal experience and your thoughts so you are going to not uh, get afraid uh, to insert anything you are going to put as many things as you can in your narrative essay to uh, welcome uh, your reader, uh, sit down with your characters, have tea with your characters and enjoy the scene as you are enjoying telling them. 
do include detailed descriptions of the places people and buildings that are the part of the story now you are not uh, particularly talking about only one event in that event if there are any people involved if there is a uh, old man if there is a, a young girl uh, or any other character do explain and do elaborate uh, their physical terms and their behavior towards other people then if you find any buildings in the background and uh, if you uh, find uh, uh, any any special places to be mentioned in your essay do do that you should try to make it easier for your readers to picture everything you describe in their mind now that uh, you have seen uh, uh, that very place in that very situation you want your reader to know that what happened in the situation and how that situation was like and how were the things uh, uh, settled down there and how uh, they um, uh, were visible to the uh, to you so you are going to uh, actually add all those details in your essay that your reader can feel them too like it's the same way as the uh, painter he paints a painting and you uh, saw that painting and uh, uh, you tell it to your friend or maybe your mother she sends you to the market uh, let's take a very common life example your mother she sends you a market and she asks you to bring one gift for uh, for uh, let's say your father now you go to the market and uh, you you know try to see some uh, things a few things which uh, uh, you feel could be you know a good gift for your father from your mother you come back home without even purchasing them you come ho uh, back home and tell your mother that uh, uh, this uh, that I uh, was I saw a wristwatch I saw a uh, dress coat or uh, something like that and you know you try to describe and define each and every uh, aspect of it and uh, where did you saw that which shop which location uh, and so on and so forth so everything whatsoever you are trying to narrate to your mother uh, would become the part of the minute details of your essay so this is how uh, once you try to you know, narrate each and everything uh, to someone uh, starting from the min minutest detail of anything that uh, will help the reader get into the situation where you were and you can uh, grab the attention of your reader. Now let's quickly discuss some of the don'ts that you are not supposed to do while writing a, a, a narrative essay. Don't be afraid to be creative. Now you are not going to be afraid to be creative unless you cross your limits of uh, uh, explaining things um, uh, that make your uh, life uh, uh, like experience or your real experience a false experience sometimes a story that sounded unrealistic is nevertheless benefiting from all the imaginary happenings so sometimes a story which sounds unrealistic is just because uh, you have inserted so many imaginary details as long as you do not lose yourself to the surrealism of the described events and keep your reader interested the essay will be a success so you are not going to cross that level of imagination uh, stick to the actual or the lifelike details and elaborate them with a good uh, collection of words uh, for the reader so that they are uh, interested in reading your essay again and again don't switch from past tense to the present tense and vice versa so the best thumb rule is that you are going to stick to only one tense throughout your essay uh, don't start writing your narrative essay before you decide on the ending of your story it is absolutely necessary to plan the entire story prior to developing the plot in detail so uh, you are going to see that if uh, and how you are going to end your story um, uh, clearly because um, uh, if you don't come up to any end your story would be you know uh, blank and you won't be able to uh, convey to the or um, involve your reader into it and your e reader would not be very happy with your ending so decide on any uh, uh, decide for uh, ending of your uh, narrative essay because only in this way you can uh, plan the entire story prior to your plot 
don't change the sequence of events uh, the sequence of events should be in a chronological order this will make it much harder for the reader to follow the plot so if you are trying to you know uh, follow this flashback narration technique in the beginning of your writing process uh, while you are a beginner so you should not uh, change the sequence of the events don't be afraid to include elements of the descriptive writing in your narrative essay now uh, don't uh, be afraid to include the descriptions in your narrative essay your work will only benefit from the bright details and specific descriptions so once you are going to be very very specific about uh, your descriptions only then your word would look your work would look bright to your reader now there are some common mistakes uh, the first one says the switching from first person to the third as you narrate you should stick with just one way of narration now if you are talking about the first person stick to that if you are talking for the about the from the third person point of view stick to that either that of the detached narrator or one of the characters of the story so you are going to be very careful about it only skillful and experienced fiction writers can combine these techniques so uh, uh, since you are beginners so you are not going to you know uh mix these two uh, only a very skillful and a very uh, a writer who has already narrated a lot of stories can be a skillful master to do that for example narrate the same story from different characters uh, perspectives in rotation with the confusing uh, without confusing the reader so uh, uh, you narrate a story uh, on your own and then you try to narrate the same story from uh, the read from the others Uh, perspectives or the uh, different characters in the story from per uh, their perspectives uh, that is going to you know not going to be a very easy job so you are not going to do it in the initial stage you can do it later once you have the proper command of writing a narrative essay slang words in direct and indirect speech sometimes uh, uh, the using slang words is an acceptable stylistic technique when you integrate it into the words of your characters uh, but not as uh, uh, as you are experiencing or you are telling your experience to the reader y they can be either used in the dialogues as being said by the any character of your story but it is never a good idea for uh, the indirect speech so uh, try to you know insert the slang in these kind of words into the uh, direct speech author's words needs to be literally correct and neutral so author's words uh, are not going to you are not going to use any slangs in your language any colloquial speech uh, you are supposed to stick to the nice uh, collection of words which are literary and uh, which are correct and neutral overloading your sentences with verbs uh, so that you focus too much on the action and fail to construct the full picture sometimes it happens that you uh, put in a lot of verbs in your uh, writing and uh, you forget about that what were actually you talking about so it sometimes diverts the attention of the reader towards uh, what you wanted to write, uh, write about always try to combine moderate usage of verbs with bright adjectives and adverbs to balance your writing so uh, try to use uh, verbs and bright adjectives and then adverbs to make your writing look interesting and uh, full of uh, all the a balance uh, that you can have while uh, conveying your utmost experience of uh, doing anything now uh, that's the last part of today's lecture uh, that is the example of narrative essay a very interesting one the biggest nightmare so i hope that you are going to enjoy this essay uh, being narrated by a writer the writer so beautifully uh, talks about his biggest nightmare that he had had and that's a real one so i hope that you are going to enjoy all the details he has written in his essay so uh, let's begin with the introduction paragraph The writer says that it was a hot summer's day. Everything around me was slowly starting to melt. The trees, the houses, the sky and pathway to my garage. It seems that I was about to melt down myself so there would only be a small puddle of glue-like substance left on the ground. 
see this so much minute details how the writer explains that one particular summer day how everything was melting down with uh, this uh, hot day uh, humidity and uh, how uh, the writer himself felt that he is going to melt to like a glue like structure I was walking very slowly. My head felt huge and heavy and every muscle into my body was sore. My arms and legs were barely responding to the signals that my brain was sending to them. It felt like a slow motion horror movie. Only it was happening live. I finally reached the front door and touched the handle. The part that took only a second for my eyes to see took about 20 minutes for my body to accomplish. But I was finally at my goal. So um, uh, the writer was on his way home from somewhere and the pathway to the garage looked so long to him that he could not even walk and his head, his, his head was heavy and his every muscle was uh, sore and he barely responded to the signals in his brain that it, what he wanted to do finally he reached the door and you know uh, and he was happy that he did that. Uh, now uh, see each and every minute detail that how uh, the biggest nightmare is going to happen to him that happened on a very hot summer day. See the every minute detail how the writer has elaborated um, uh, things like uh, everything around me was slowly starting to melt because of the hot summer day everything now see the description the trees the houses the sky the pathway to the garage everything would melt even he would melt too and he would melt like a glue like substance now see the description of that he would melt down and he would become a glue like structure I was walking very slowly. Why? Because of the heat and humidity around him. Uh, while reading this paragraph, I myself uh, am feeling very tired up uh, and you know, I am also feeling that it is a very hot summer day, although it's not, it's a very cold winter and uh, we are enjoying that. But uh, the writer brings me into the situation at least and uh, uh, let's see what happens after that. His first supporting paragraph says that I slowly turned the handle of the door only to realize it had barely moved. So because he was so tired, see what is happening. I took all the strength that I had left in my body and pressed the handle again. No success. I turned around, leaned against the door and slowly slid down the ground. I felt faint. My head was spinning. I was so thirsty that I could barely think about anything else. So he could only think of the summer hot day, hot summer day and the thirst that he had had. I had to get inside anyway. Had to pull myself together and open the door. Otherwise I would faint here uh, near the front entrance to my house, which was uh, not the scenario I'd prefer. Now see this I'd prefer. Uh, this is the shortening that he has used and uh, this is the way of how uh, you write a narrative essay by using these kind of words, the shortenings, the abbreviations, the ellipses, all of these things can be used. I pulled myself from the ground and faced the door again. I closed my eyes for a second, took a deep breath, uh, opened them and pushed the door knob as hard as I could at that at the time. I, it gave way reluctantly. If it wasn't for the helpless shadow of a man that I was at that moment, I would definitely have screamed in happiness for finally winning over this stubborn door knob. But all I could settle for right then was weak smile and a deep sigh of relief. So he was so tired enough to even laugh at the situation that he was successful to open the door knob. And he was so happy to do that and see that uh, how he has explained that uh, he felt uh, uh, or, uh, so uh, relieved and uh, uh, there was a deep sigh inside him. The second paragraph, uh, again the supporting details that what happened afterward. I went inside after door, opening the door knob and had to wait for a minute before I could make out anything. It was too dark, still very hot and somehow very lonely inside. By the time my eyes adapted to dark inside, I could tell no one was around. 
What time was it? And where was everyone? The house was completely and scarily quiet. The silence was unnatural. There was no sound coming from the working fridge or ticking clock. Nothing. I went to kitchen to get some water, opened the tap and put an empty glass under it. But there was no water, not even a drop. Now see this exclamation mark, see the semicolons, the columns that he have chosen, chosen uh, these kind of uh, things and these kind of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, punctuations can be used to make your essay look informal. The glass remained empty. This seemed like a complete nightmare. I might be dreaming. I felt like the world had died out. Everything had stopped and somehow I was forgotten here all alone, uh, left to die from thirst and heat. So uh, see the way that he is combining two nightmares that he was thirsty as well as the weather was uh, hot and he uh, the heat pressure is going to make him die and he was all alone uh, in the whole situation and that was so dark and he was wondering that what has happened and why ha it has happened and uh, let's see what's going to happen afterwards i was having a panic attack with the anger and strain that came out of now here, I ran from one room to the other looking for anyone. Mom, Josh, Dad, Charlie, no one was to be seen. The dogs were gone. What is wrong with the place? Again, for the third and fourth time, I caught myself thinking this was just a bad dream. See, in his imagination, he is trying to tell that it was a bad dream. But my body still felt very much sore and I could vividly feel the pain. Having no clue of what else except the pain could help me distinguish between dreaming and reality. So that was the reality which he was facing. By the way, where everyone has gone? That also makes us wonder that why uh, everybody has gone somewhere and why he has left alone and it was all dark. There was no water. The weather was so hot. What has happened? I had to accept the fact that I was living the might nightmare of real. Suddenly I heard a sound coming from downstairs. It was very slight, faint sound that repeated in a second only louder. I ran downstairs feeling a little scared and at the time uh, hoping that it was someone or something that could explain to me what was going on. The living room was empty. The sound was coming from outside the back porch and it was increasing in loudness at every new cycle. It reminded me of when dad and I went rowing and every time dad turned over the oars, they made the same whistling sound cleaving the air. I ran outside the back door and was almost brought down to ground by strength of the wind. I, it was a helicopter right above me, coming on to me. I lay on the ground screaming but I couldn't hear my own voice through the noise of implacable uh, winds getting closer and freezing me to the ground. So uh, see uh, the biggest nightmare he is left alone and I don't know what is happening here. I hope everything is well and he's going to um, uh, find all his family members uh, in a right way. Now see in the end, check out in the end, he has uh, inserted three uh, dots, the ellipsis. Maybe there is some continuation to something. Let's move on to the next slide. Oh, there are three dots more. Jason, honey, wake up. It's just a bad dream, babe. You look so pale. Are you okay? Now see the dialogue. Dialogue, my mom was standing next to my bed. So that was mom who was uh, trying to uh, wake up Jason. Uh, now check out the words, Jason, honey, wake up. It's just a bad dream, babe. Now see the words, honey, babe, you look so pale, are you okay? So these kind of words which are used in the common converse conversations by different people are being used here to make it more lifelike and lively. My, mo my mom was standing next to my bed trying to calm me down as I was still screaming and flapping my arms. The air was on and the fan above my bed was making the particular whistling sound with each turn. So that wasn't a helicopter, that was his fan above him which was making these kind of whistling sounds. So um, that was the conclusion and that brings us to the end of the biggest nightmare. I hope that you have enjoyed uh, 
listening to uh, this writer uh, he has depicted each and everything in such a beautiful way that is at least i was moved where then i also was feeling worried about uh, whatsoever has happened with that very writer now to summarize with to end up with today we have to thoroughly talked about that uh, uh, what how to write a narrative essay a narrative essay is a kind of a short story which you are supposed to narrate uh, or which you can narrate in a very conversational style by using dialogues by using emotions and feelings and you can also use some uh, punctuation marks in them too well written narrative essay is a kind of a essay which uh, carries every aspect uh, in it which can involve the reader or which can invite the reader into the situation as uh, we have just read uh, one example of the biggest nightmare uh, we went into the situation ourselves then there are some steps for writing a narrative essay uh, we have also discussed some steps for picking up the plot for describing the characters the situation and finally closing your uh, uh, essay uh, topic selection isn't very hard while you are uh, writing down the narrative essay because the topics for narrative essay are easily available then there are some some do's and don'ts that you are supposed to do and then common mistakes that you are supposed to avoid that was followed by one example of the nightmare that we have read Here is a list of references from where the uh, information was being downloaded. So that was all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the story of uh, the writer telling the biggest nightmare of his life. I hope you are uh, now in a position to narrate uh, your any personal uh, experience uh, to us and uh, I hope that after you will uh, close uh, down your computer and will uh, actually sit down to study and uh, try to you know see that which uh, what do you want to write about you are supposed to you know you will keep in mind all the do's and don'ts of how to write a one narrative essay in the next class we will uh, uh, discuss the comparison and contrast essay in detail uh, until then take very good care of yourself uh, i wish you a very good luck for your essay writing skills um, uh, see you in the next class till then take good care and allah hafiz